Dear students, let's discuss question number three of exercise 11b. And uh, here, a uh, kite is given here. And uh, we have to find out the unknown angle A and B in this diagram. Uh, we also know that uh, a kite has two pairs of equal ad adjacent sides. So uh, this side and this side is equal in length, whereas if you look at this part of the diagram, uh, these two sides are equal in length. In this way, this triangle ADC is an isosceles triangle because we know that in an isosceles triangle two sides are equal in length. In the same way, in this triangle ABC, uh, we have two sides equal here. So this is also another isosceles triangle. So we are going to uh, solve these two uh, triangles uh, separately. Now if we look at this isosceles triangle ADC, as this angle is given there in the question and it is labeled as A. So this must be A for the reason in, a, in an isosceles triangle, the base angles are equal. So if you look at this uh, part of the page, I have constructed an equation here. Uh, as we know that according to the angle property, uh, sum of three interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree. So I have constructed an equation here. A plus A plus 100 degree is equal to 180 degree. So we can easily solve this equation to get the value of A. In the same way, uh, if we look at uh, this uh, triangle ABC, once again here this angle was already given in the question 61 whereas I have labeled this angle for the reason as this is a this is an isosceles triangle and the base angles are same so if this is 61 degree this must also be 61 degree once again I constituted another uh, equation here uh, according uh, by applying angle properties uh, in a triangle uh, sum of three angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degree so once again if you solve this equation you will get the value of angle B